no one believed that this house could survive fire. It's 130 years old, it's built of timber and it's in right in amongst the forest. The forest has actually grown up around it since it was built. We actually were quite scared by the um, Black Saturday fires in Victoria, 2009. Sue suggests that we should build a bushfire bunker. So it's basically what you've got to do to shut it. This is the CO2 meter. 1026, 1030. This is compressed air. That should be enough for two people for an hour or two. Yeah. yeah. And then pressure is building up in here, so we have a barometer. Mick had the bunker set up he, and we were preparing the property for fire. Um, but I made the decision early on that I couldn't stay in the bunker. I had to leave. Sue phoned about 10 o'clock from Marimbula and said the fire had got to Wanboyne. So I went inside. I was in there for probably an hour and a half. That's fire just outside the window here, 10 metres away. I only filmed a couple of minutes of it at most. There was fire creeping down the hill and up in the background, it was, uh, the whole sky was red. It was alive with fire. Yeah. I'm really glad I didn't stay because um, I would have only got in the way and I didn't want to experience that fire. And there are people who did stay in Kaya who had a hell of a time and are lucky to have got out alive. Trees crashing continually, wind gusty south southwest. Had to quell fire on live old wattle west of house at least three times. Went to bed but got up again at 4.11 to deal with flare-up. I got a phone call from Mick two hours after the fire had come through. He told me he was safe, the house was safe, but he hadn't saved the studio. Well, this was where I had all my sketchbooks, observing the changes in the forest over nearly 40 years. That's what they are now. I understand the situation now is that it's so much harder to feel safe in an environment like this or anywhere really. And so we've all got to get used to letting go of material things. Oh yeah. Lord grant me the serenity to accept things I cannot change and the courage to change the ones I can and the wisdom to know the difference. We've been here most of our lives, most of our adult lives have been here. We will never see some of the old growth trees again. What it was, was life. It was like living under the ocean full of life. We were under the trees and there was life at every level. And that's been beaten back and there's so much death now. Come on Beryl. Luckily, some of our birds and animals are still here. They survived amazingly, and we're just helping to keep them alive at the moment. Some of these trees will recover and life will come back, but it will never be the same. Mm. It's changed. It's not just here. It's the landscape all around us has changed forever. <laughs>